Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. This is going to be a pretty cool video, really nice. And uh, if you find it nice, if you like this video and you find it useful, helpful, I would really appreciate if you guys can hit the like button and if you're new to subscribe to the channel as I come up with tons of new videos all the time. So guys, you're missing out big time for the past year. A lot of people have been uh, the majority of the of the average, let's say, retail investor has had his mind filled with either renewables, SPAC, cryptos, and maybe you can succeed or you have succeeded in any of those uh, sectors. But there was there has been an industry that's been on fire that's not talked about a lot. I've noticed not a lot. Um, it's actually you're gonna find this industry in the smart money where those who uh, invest the, the very very extremely cunning and smart way cunning in a good way uh, but yeah so let's get into this this is an industry that uh, a lot of people have missed out on in the past year it involves Greece all right it involves the country I am living in right now and we're gonna talk about the Greek the Greek shipping industry a lot of the Greek shipping industry companies they're on the on in the New York Stock Exchange a lot of them and we're also going to talk about the international shipping industry. People missed out big time. A lot of people missed out. And I'll tell you how. One example, Danaos, which is a Greek shipping company, last year was three bucks, just three dollars. Could have bought it for three dollars. Right now it's at 83 US dollars. You would put 5,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks last year at three dollars. That's a lot of money you could have made. Um, so this is an industry that a lot of folks missed out on because they weren't told uh, it wasn't brought to their attention it wasn't talked about often if you would have followed me on patreon or uh, if you're following me on my patreon channel called bull market watch uh, link in the description below we talked about this many many months ago and we talked about uh, uh, st some really good stocks that uh, so let's look into this guys and does this industry still have room to grow or did we just miss out on it and it's over it's actually not over uh, there's still another five years that everyone everyone everybody all the top analysts are confirming the prices on the con the container ship prices will continue to stay on course higher and higher so the greek shipping industry guys is valued at 132 billion dollars and it dominates the world greece owns more container ships than any other country in the world Greek shipping continues its astonishing growth, confirming Greece's position as the number one seafaring country in the world, according to a new report. And it's no surprise, uh, you know, Greece has been actually number one in this uh, position for a long time. But recently, with the shipping prices being so high, and we'll look at it, some charts from Bloomberg, I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, a lot of people here, even on the island that I live in, a lot of people, uh, young people, they're all running to go get educated and become mechanics or captains for a ship because the pay is really good. So the value of Greek-owned merchant shipping fleet grew over 32% in the past three years and now stands at $132.58 billion, says a report from the consultancy firm Vessel Value. The report conducted on behalf of the Greek daily Kathy Marini newspaper, there's a link in the description for Cathay Marina also, says that Greece's active fleet consists of 4,546 ships with a total of $117.5 billion. To those, add the 187 that are now under construction, new uh, ships, worth a whopping $14.9 billion. The increase in value is mainly the result of higher fees for container and dry cargo ships. Uh, let me see if I can go real quick, guys. Let me skip over real quick to the chart. This is just one route that we're looking at. This is, a, this is from Bloomberg. And this is just one shipping route. And it is from, Shem, from Shanghai to Rotterdam. The rates, right? And it is insane, guys. Look, from 2016 going to 2020, the rates were pretty much the same flat. And from 2020 to 2021, it skyrocketed. Just one, one route. Ten thousand dollars. There, there are right now container ships getting paid ten thousand dollars a day to ship your products. So the Wall Street Journal: Container shipping prices skyrocket as rush to move goods picks up. 
Next, the report also notes that the composition and size guys of the Greek merchant fleet has also changed. The number of vessels may, may not have uh, changed much, but the number of operating plus under construction ships stands to 4,833, that is up from the 4,500 ships in 2018. The Vessels Value Research says that in 2018, tankers accounted for the highest value among Greek-owned ships, followed by dry cargo and liquid natural gas. Liquid natural gas, DL, uh, what was it called, the stock that we talked about, DLNG or DLNS, DLNG I think it was. So it's another one to keep an eye on, guys, it's only like three bucks right now. Container ships were a distant fourth. In 2021, dry cargo ships have overtaken tankers in value. However, the container ships have climbed to third place. Now, dry cargo ships, both operational and under construction, and we'll look at some stocks in a little bit, guys, are now worth $46.7 billion, while tankers are worth $39 billion. Container ships, or box ships, as they are so-called, are worth $23.4 billion. The number of Greek-owned box ships is 441 compared to 1,458 tankers and 2,326 cargo ships. By the way, this is, like I said, there's a lot of Greek-owned shipping companies that are on the New York Stock Exchange. And all of them, if you click on any of them, guys, for the one-year chart, if you look at the past one year, they're all skyrocketing up. It is in the container ships category that there have there has been the highest increase in vessels. In slightly over a year, guys, the cost of transporting a 20-foot equivalent container has risen from $1,000 to $12,000. From ING's website, right? This is in 2021. From ING's website, five reasons global shipping costs will continue to rise. And they're not the only ones saying that. Everyone's saying fidelity everybody for the next five years this shipping rates are gonna go off the roof Shipping companies their stocks are gonna go off the roof So shipping costs have risen sharply and fierce competition for ocean freight capacity is The new normal with new capacity only slowly coming on stream freight rates are expected to continue to reach new heights this year So in this article no short-term relief, right? Continued global imbalances push prices further. Few alternatives for ocean freight. Greece owns most of the ships. Um, An unbalanced recovery through 2021. Reduced blank uh, sailings will help ease capacity constraints, poor congestions, and so on. So although the country accounts for only 0.16% of the world's population, Greece accounts for 0.16% of the world's population because Greece only has 10, roughly 10 million people. That's it. That's the whole country. Uh, Greek ship owners own 20.6, almost 21% of the global tonnage and 54.2% of the entire European Union controlled uh, shippings, uh, t uh, controlled tonnage, uh, the ships. Right, so 21% of global market share in the global shipping industry it belongs to Greece. 54% in the European Union belongs to Greece. So Greece is a, a maritime nation by tradition, as shipping is arguably the oldest form of employment for Greeks. Today, it is the second largest contributor to the national economy after tourism. First established in 1916, the UGS represents Greek-owned vessels over 3,000 gross tons under Greek and other European third country flags. Between 2007, guys, and 2019, Greek ship owners more than doubled the carrying capacity of their fleet. 32.6% of the world tanker fleet, 15.1% of the world chemical and product tankers, and 16.3% of the global LNG fleet. If we look at here, the figures by countries and uh, who owns, uh, who has the most uh, fleet around ownership, the biggest, the biggest ownership in the EU merchant fleet, right? The, in the European Union, the light blue, the blue here that you see, the big chunk right here, 54.2% belongs to Greece. So record rates, guys, and they continue to soar. According to Bloomberg report, that you can see the chart here. Look at some Greek companies and how they've been doing. Uh, Danaos at $83. DAC is the ticket symbol. Navios Maritime used to be like under under like six dollars. It's now at 25, six to seven. Canon Holdings is not a Greek company. But it is a holdings company, and uh, they have a huge stake in Zim Integrated, which, which is an Israel, Israeli uh, shipping company, which Danaus has 
uh, a big chunk of, of Zim integrated. So it's affiliated with Greece. Uh, so 30, look at that. I mean, they, they have they have stake in a shipping company and they're they're doing awesome they went from 20 to 37 global ship uh, global ship lease another greek company went from what like three bucks to 1990 zim integrated it was an ipo that we covered we covered it as a pre-ipo went from 10 12 bucks 11 bucks to 47 dollars right now so guys this is a this is an industry people are missing out on for over a year now because they've you you know been going back and forth from SPACs, cryptos, renewable energy, EV, and maybe sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't, but the smart money doesn't look at hype. I've said this many times before, even last year, uh, you know, smart institutional investors, the smart money does not run after hype, or if they do, they know when to, they know how to trade the hype. But if you want to be in a nice, consistent way, you got to look at some really good disruptive trends and starting last year the the trend was the shipping rates and people picked up on the fact that the shipping rates were going higher and they jumped in on many greek shipping stocks and made a lot of money um and i i also have made some money on greek shipping companies and i continue to own some greek shipping companies because they're just basically going to go higher for the next five years so guys that's it please let me know what you think in the, of this video if you like to hit the like button leave a comment and let us know what your opinion is. Thank you very much and take care.